Now, the UN Security Council will hold an emergency session on the uh, escalating conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Now, clashes between troops continued overnight in the Nagorno-Karabakh area. The area is disputed, is a disputed territory between the two former Soviet nations. Tensions flared up on Sunday after Baku accused Yerevan of breaching the regional ceasefire. But Armenia says Azerbaijan launched the first attack by air. Nagorno-Karabakh is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but has been controlled by ethnic Armenians since 1994. Let's go to Baku now and uh, bring in Ahmad Shahidov. Uh, he's the head of the Azerbaijan Institute for Democracy and Human Rights. Good to have you on the program. Let's talk about uh, civilians who are trapped in the middle of this conflict. Um, what is being done to protect them and uh, how is this impacting them right now? Uh, yes, uh, good afternoon. I greet you from Baku, Azerbaijan. Uh, as you mentioned, tensions on the Armenian Azerbaijan contact line uh, escalated on Sunday, and the Armenian side's shelling of Azerbaijani civilian village in the morning uh, led to large scale military operations. There are uh, a lot of killed and wounded among the civilian population due to uh, the intensive shelling by the Armenian side and uh, Armenian military units caused severe damage uh, to civilian infrastructure as, as well. And in response, the Azerbaijan army launched uh, large-scale military operations and intensive fighting took place in all directions on the uh, front line. And right now, tensions remain on the front. And um, uh, the especially Armenian uh, uh, military uh, units are, sh are shelling the uh, civilians, and there are uh, a lot of uh, civilian people uh, killed and wounded. Armenian units uh, target especially schools, uh, kindergartens, and uh, civil uh, buildings. And uh, official Azerbaij uh, Azerbaijan officials uh, appeal to international organizations because uh, this, uh, the behavior of Armenians and, uh, are against the international law and international general conventions. And these days, many international organizations and countries are calling for an end to this tension between Armenia and Azerbaijan and the start immediately start of peace talks. Ahmed, but I just want to jump in because we have just heard uh, from the French uh, president palace on this subject precisely at yeah. uh, France uh, saying uh, France of course just a quick uh, aside for our international audience is part of the uh, OSCE uh, Minsk group that co-chairs uh, yeah. with France Russia and the US and they're calling for uh, in the coming days uh, a, a meeting um, on uh, Nagorno-Karabakh to assess responsibilities and find a way out of the conflict and that is from the French presidential palace uh, your reaction to that you know, uh, I don't think that uh, there are any opportunities for a peaceful solution to this conflict because all opportunities have been exhausted uh, because for the last 30 years, Azerbaijan has always been a supporter of peace in the region and there are four resolutions of the UN Security Council which support the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. Also decisions of the OEC, the Council of Europe and other international organizations on the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan are not being implemented yet. And Armenia okay. doesn't Ahmed, comply just with to international pick up, law. Ahmed, on what you said at the beginning, you don't think there's a chance for a peaceful resolution uh, to this conflict. Uh, so how does this end or move on from here? You know, Azerbaijan uh, has rise to restore its territorial integrity and we are uh, managing uh, military, operation, uh, military operations, anti-terror operations on our uh, each territory. And uh, President Aliyev said that if Armenian soldiers uh, don't want to die, uh, they can go out from our territories. And as Armenia have to comply with international law and respect the international law, UN Security uh, Council resolutions, OEC and Council of Europe and other international organizations' uh, uh, statements about the uh, territorial uh, integrity of Azerbaijan. And first of all, official Yerevan have to respect the international law, withdraw the uh, uh, armies from the occupied Nagorno-Karabakh and other surrounded uh, territories of Azerbaijan. Then Azerbaijan is ready for uh, any peaceful negotiation between Armenia and Azerbaijan because there are uh, no need 
um, uh, to fight to each other. We, we, we have to respect the international law, international conventions, and uh, for the last 30 years, as, uh, Azerbaijan okay. uh, always uh, uh, been a supporter of peace. And there are uh, four resolutions of UN Security Council okay. uh, which uh, support the total integrity of Azerbaijan. Ahmed uh, Shahidov, we've covered a lot of territory on this, uh, in this conversation. Thank you very much indeed for your time and analysis.